Hey everyone, this is Steven here, back at it again with another video. In today's video, we're going to go over a recent card show that I went to near Seattle, Washington. But before we get into that, if you enjoy this type of content and would like to see more in the future, please feel free to hit the like button and also subscribe. So now that we got all that out of the way, we can get into the actual video here. I did want to say that I hope everyone is having a great Sunday and weekend so far. I know that we have two very good NFL games, or at least I'm very excited about the Bucks against the Rams, and then later in the day we have the Chiefs against the Buffalo Bills, so excited for both of those games. Pretty decent games yesterday, overall more excited for Sunday's games or today's games, but again I just hope that everyone's having a great Sunday and weekend so far. In today's video we're going to go over one of the sports card shows that I recently went to near Seattle, Washington. Just going to quickly recap some of the things I noticed and then the second half of the video I'm just going to show some footage of me just walking around at the actual card show looking at some of the cards. Now I'm quickly going to go over the show itself and kind of talk about some of the things that I noticed and then we'll switch over to the fun part and actually look at some of the cards at the actual show. But I'm going to start off here with the show it's called Twin Oak Shows. Here's its website, and here's a picture from one of the previous shows. But this show has been running consecutively for 34 years, so pretty decent run there. They have shows in Auburn, Washington, which is about 50 minutes south of Seattle. And then they recently opened up shows in Everett, Washington, which is about 45 minutes north of Seattle. That's the one I went to yesterday. And then they also have shows in Portland, which is over in Oregon. I will say in the past, I've mainly gone to the shows in Auburn. I recently started going to some of the shows up in Everett, which is the one I went to yesterday. Some of the things I've noticed is that the Everett show seems to be a lot smaller than the show in Auburn. It seems like a lot more vendors and booths are out in Auburn, and overall the attendance is a lot higher at the Auburn show. I do want to try to make the Auburn show February 5th, so I'm going to try to go to that. I'll try to capture some footage so you guys and gals can see the differences in size and some of the cards that are there as opposed to the one in Everett that I went to yesterday. But now we can focus in on the Everett show, which I went to yesterday. A couple of things I noticed is that there actually was a decent turnout. I was expecting it to be a lot lower turnout due to the NFL games going on yesterday. So there was a decent crowd. My estimation would be about 50 booths or so, give or take a couple. That's just, again, an estimate, which is pretty good for the Everett shows that I've been to and pretty decent for the Seattle, Washington area. Another thing that I noticed is that this time around, there's actually a decent variety of cards. So we had a pretty solid mix of basketball, baseball, and also football. I remember last time I went to this show up in Everett, there was really not a lot of baseball cards. It seems like that switched a little bit, so a pretty good mix of sports cards. They also had a couple booths of Pokemon cards, a lot of Funkos, a lot of bobbleheads, a lot of autographs, memorabilia, and stuff like that. So overall, a pretty decent mix of collectibles there. Another thing that I noticed is that this time around, there was not really a lot of vintage cards at the show. Typically, there's a couple booths that really focus in on vintage cards only. Those vendors weren't there this time around, so it was really lacking in vintage cards. I would say 90 to 95% of the overall show was ultra modern or modern cards. And then the last thing I noticed is that this time around, there was actually not a lot of graded cards. So I'll say the bulk of the cards were ungraded. A couple of vendors were mentioning that up in this Everett show, it seems like people spend a lot less money on an actual card. So that could have something to do with it too, that people just aren't willing to spend as much at the Everett show as opposed to down at the Auburn show. That could be a piece of it, but I did find that a little interesting. And so I'm going to switch over to some of the footage that I captured over the weekend. I will say that I am not the biggest fan of filming on public. So I do apologize if it's a little shaky or not the best footage but I did try to capture a couple of the boosts there, so I hope you enjoy. I did not have any pickups at the card show, unfortunately, so I will not be doing a recap at the end. So with all that being said, please enjoy the footage of the show and have a nice rest of your Sunday and a solid week ahead of you. 